I'm not worried. This guy's nothing. I'm, I may I may even get a TKO for the first time uh, in this match or KO. I don't I don't care. You know, it's gonna be easy today. A uh, little nervous, but you know I think it'll be close. We'll see. Look, we all know that Zach Mitchell wasn't the reason that the ratings were in that match. That was because of Brett Sheridan. The only reason that Zach Mitchell won that is because he got lucky in his IMDb round. Uh, I think we can all agree uh, one of the schmoes being on the show brought the ratings. So I think everyone tuned in for uh, Brett to see how he does because people have been wanting him in the schmodown for a while now. Well, you know... I've uh, gotten the points record in my first match, gotten the points record again in my last match, and uh, my goal today is to once again set a points record, to go for like 17 or 18 out of the possible 20, because I know it's possible, I know that I'm confident, and I know that I can beat this uh, record, so why the hell not? Uh, well, I'll definitely try for a higher score, but I see it myself, you know, playing about the same. It all depends on round two, it's all about if you get the strength. I write all the questions, all the questions that you guys get in all these matches because of me. It just shows that I know more than you guys, right? And welcome back to Worldwide Movie Trivia. We are currently in the middle of our tournament in round one. I am your host, Chris Skywalker Doman. Now, a quick recap of what's been happening so far. So, upset of the year, Zabi Raymond takes out the former champ Jono Stowell. What the hell? Next, uh, not surprisingly, Gen Camp handles Mike Hanley pretty easy. But that's, you know, that that's in the past. That's getting ready for round two, and now who's gonna face who's gonna face him? Who's gonna face him in the next round? We have our number five seed, Case Cornelius, and our number twelve seed, Zach Mitchell. And to help me rein in this, uh, this uh, I'm sure will be a shit show or a great time, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. I've got <sighs> Superman, Matthew Kearns, my co-host, dude. We're in for a fun one tonight. Uh, yes, we are. I mean, we're in with the. I think the the more than Jacob, the true grumpy one of take three and the guy who brings all the ratings apparently to the matches. So um, we're looking for a pretty um, ratings grumpy filled match, I think tonight. Or so, so we're depend. having so we're gonna have hashtag grumpy ratings. I like it. I like it a lot. All that being said, here we go. Let's do this. Introducing first. With a record of three wins, one defeat. He is currently the number five seed in this tournament. Give it up for the assassin, Case Carnelesa. And his opponent, with a record of one win and no defeats. He is the number 12 seed and the only person so far to have fought and beaten the Schmostopper Brett Sheridan. Give it up for Maverick Zach Mitchell. Okay, so round one is gonna go like this. Each competitor will be given four questions from four predetermined categories and sets of twos. Each question is with one point apiece and there is no stealing in this round. Case, as the number five seed, I'm giving you the option of going either first or second. Uh, before I start the match, I want to say I've got a, yeah, like a paper and a pen that I'm looking at. So <laughs> once once again, to stipulate, I'm not cheating. I'm just writing stuff down I want every once in a while. Uh, I will defer, actually. All right. And Zach, please choose from either Category 1 or Category 2. Category 1. Okay. Kearns, I will ask you to read to Zach in this round, and I will read to Case. All right. Um, all right, Zach, your first question um, in category one is comic book movies. 
Nicolas Cage starred in two films as a character from which Marvel property? Ghost Rider. That is correct. One point. In the category of action adventure, which Lethal Weapon sequel marks the introduction of the character of Joe Pesci's Leo Gatz? Uh, Lethal Weapon 3. Oh, I'm sorry. Two. It was Lethal Weapon 2. Uh, Whatever you need, Leo gets. That, that's how I like to introduce myself. Ah, yes, yes. Actually, I do like Lethal Weapon 2. But uh, that being said, Case, we come over to you for your first question in the category of comic book movies. In Spawn, the demon known as Violator takes on what form while on Earth? <laughs> Fucking genius movie. Uh, what form? Yeah. Jesus Christ. A dog? Ooh, I'm sorry. If you had seen the Nostalgia Critic review, he would remember <laughs> that it was a clown. Yep. Okay. Okay. For your third question, under the category of action adventure. My second question. Second question. Shut up. <laughs> in Red Dawn, Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen begin a guerrilla resistance to a Soviet invasion named after their high school mascot. What was the mascot their resistance was named after? A lion. Ooh, sorry, we're looking for the Wolverines. Wolverines! That's, That's how you have to say it. God damn it. That's how you have to say it. It's all good. It's all good. All right, Zach, we're taking it back to you in the category of famous directors. In 2016, director Jeff Nichols released which two films? Hmm. <clears throat> Can't say I really know this director, so I don't even have a guess. Okay. Uh, the answer was Midnight Special and Loving. Ah, uh, okay. And in your final category of round one, Star Wars. How many times does Han attempt hyperspace in The Empire Strikes Back? Three times? Uh, nice. you're almost just one off. It was two times. He was probably including the time that Lando tried it at the end yeah. of the film. Yeah, the end. probably, yeah. I was thinking, like, Han does it twice. Yeah, cool. all right, all right. Okay, so come back over to you. You for your third question in the category of famous directors. Which film directed by J.J. Abrams is his only one to win an Academy Award? Star Trek. That is correct. On the board, tie game. Now we can possibly take the lead with his next question. In the category of something I'm sure you're familiar with, Star Wars. Kinda. Just a little bit. How does how does Viceroy Gunray initially attempt to kill Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon in the conference room? Um Dioxus. Toxic gas, yes. Yeah, well, All right. Yay. At the end of round one, Case is in the lead at two to one. But as we've seen time and time again, anything can happen in round two, and it will go as such. Each competitor will choose a number between one through eight, which will pertain to either a certain movie category or personal slash rival's preference. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice but you must stick with the second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece, though multiple choice is available in this round, and there is stealing. Case, because you are in the lead, would you like to go first or second? Uh, once again, the first. Okay, Zach. The categories in this round are horror movies, Marvel, fantasy sci-fi, scores and soundtracks, Classics and movie release dates. Please choose number between one through eight. Three. That is the category of Marvel. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? Uh, I'm going to try again. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. 
let's do uh, six. All right. That is the category of scores and soundtracks. Damn it. All right. Okay. And I will be reading you your questions in this round. First question. What was the first movie directed solely by Steven Spielberg that does not have a score by John Williams? You can go to multiple choice. Was it and... Sugarland Express? Oh boy. Okay, chance to steal. Oh, Jesus. Um, nah, I got nothing. All right, we were looking for The Color Purple. Yeah, I've never heard of that movie. <laughs> good movie. Good movie. Very good movie. Cool. Okay, for your second question. Who provided the song Back in Time as the theme song for Men in Black 3? Multiple choice. Okay, your options are A, Pitbull, B, Justin Bieber, C, Lady Gaga, D, Wiz Khalifa. D? Okay, it's a chance to steal. What were the options again? All right, your options are A, Pitbull, B, Justin Bieber, C, Lady Gaga, D, Wiz Khalifa. Justin Bieber? Oh, sorry, we're looking for Pitbull. I swore Zach was going to say Will Smith. That would have been hilarious, but... Uh... He did provide the theme <laughs> for the first movie. So. And, and the second. Yeah. But, uh, all right, Zach, your third question. Living in America is a track performed by James Brown in which Sylvester Stallone film? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Paradise Alley, B, Rocky IV, C, Staying Alive, D, Rambo. B? That is correct. Rocky IV. Song that plays right before Apollo Creed kicks the bucket. Don't remind me. Eh. That movie's not that great, anyway. <gasps> that we'll have oh. a talk after this is done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your final question in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who performed the Oscar and Razzie-nominated song I Don't Want to Miss a Thing from Michael Bay's Armageddon? Aerosmith. That is correct for two points. Nicely done. I like part <clears throat> of that question. That was almost a disaster. <laughs> that... Well, yeah. Because kind of was. Kind of was. But luckily, he Just... has avoided the knockout. In case, um, do I even need to ask? Three, Marvel. Okay. Please. <laughs> All right. Give me one second to pull it up. All right. Case, I will be reading your questions from the category of Marvel. I'm All so right. scared right now. In Thor The Dark World, Loki shapeshifts himself into which Avenger? Captain America. That is correct. That, that is correct. All right, yeah. I don't know why it took me. <laughs> My bad. Um, okay. In the second question, in The Amazing Spider-Man, how is Curtis Connors associated with Richard Parker? Uh, they were old work colleagues. Can you give us a little bit more detail to that? Um, they, they were part. Uh, they were partners in a scientific experiment. There we go. There we go. There. Yep. Go. Okay, that is correct. Um, okay. All right. What was well, What is Wolverine's occupation at the beginning of Logan? Uh, he's a limo driver. That is correct. Yep. Chauffeur limo. Chauffeur driver. limo driver. Yeah. Same difference. All right, and your final question under the category of Marvel. In Men in Black, who said the following quote? A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. And we are looking for the character, not the actor. uh, It was K. 
That is correct. That is correct. Wow. Eight points. All right. All right. And Keith is already doing his own updates for us. Is it Same. eight to four? Same. It's ten, ten to four. Ten four. Ten four. Good buddy. As we come <laughs> into round three, and it will go as such. Each competitor will be given the year, <coughs> genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone and they guess correctly, they will receive five points. However, if two more keywords are needed, the total possible then goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible then goes down to one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Case, because you are in the lead, please choose either movie number one or movie number two. Uh, movie number one. Okay. Now, Zach, you need to hit the five or the three to stay alive in the game. <clears throat> Best of luck. Good Chris, luck. Can you please read me? All movie? right. Movie two, Kirk. Yes. All right. Your year is 2001. Your genres, action, drama, and history. And your first three plot keywords are nurse, Pilot and air raid. Pearl Harbor. Yes. Five that is points to Maverick. <laughs> Man, wow. it's alive for All now. Right. <laughs> but here's where it gets interesting. If Case hits either the five or the three, it's game over. If he misses or hits the one, we go to round four. Case, your year is 2007. Your genre, drama, horror, and sci-fi. And your first three plot keywords are survivor, virus, and cure. Uh, drama, horror, sci-fi? Yes. Um, and the plot keywords again? Survivor, virus, and cure. Ten seconds. Uh, next two. Okay. Your next two keywords are quarantine and New York City. That's not what I thought it was. Is it Cloverfield? Oh, we were looking for I Am Legend. Oh, fuck yes, of course. Good guess, though. Great yeah. guess. But now it's a one-point game. K still has the lead, but we now come into round four, and it will go as such. I have five questions in front of me. The competitor who is behind will go first, and the questions will go back and forth until the end of the round, when either a winner is determined or we go to a sudden death. So, the category this round is movie and actor. We will ask, we will give you the character name and the movie they appeared in. We are asking for the actor who played them. Gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to say, you have 10 seconds to answer. Zach, to tie the game. Okay. Rusty Ryan in Ocean's Eleven. Five, four, three. Scott Kahn. Ooh, sorry, looking for Brad Pitt. Okay. In the Dow, go Pitt. All right, Case, you're first one to put, give yourself a nice little gap here. Danny in Role Models. Nope. I've never seen this movie. Okay, we're looking for Paul Rudd. Pretty funny movie, I would say. Pretty uh, geeky movie, but also, that's, I think that's why I enjoy it. Okay, yeah. Zach, to tie the game. Mouth in the Goonies. Five, four. 
Corey Feldman. That's correct. This Tie correct. game. Woo. Total guess. Just oh pick your name in okay. the cast. This just now Woo. this now this is interesting. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay. Case. Commander Cruz in Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Oh, Christopher. Sorry. Christopher Lloyd. That's that correct. Is... He takes <sighs> the lead. But okay. Zach could tie it up here. Zach with could this tie one. this up. Otherwise, I win. Yes. Yes. If I miss this, Case wins. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And for your final question, up. Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man. Dustin Hoffman. We go to the tiebreaker. This is what we love to see in this tournament. Oh shit! This just got interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, to give the audience at home a little refresh on how this works, I will have current read a question. The competitors will use their name to buzz in their answer. If they guess correctly, they will receive a following question. If they hit that question, they earn a point and they win the game. However, if they miss that question, they lose a point and the other competitor wins the game. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Gentlemen. Good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. All right. Parents, read them the question. All right. Who plays the role of Bruce Banner's father in 2003's Hulk? Zach. Zach? Nick Nolte. Oh, Ooh. shit! Oh! Okay. This is For the win. Zach. Which moon of Yavin was the rebel base located on in Star Wars? Yavin 4. And your winner! Maverick! Zach Mitchell! Uh. (laughs) I gotta say, though, this was a hell of a match. And... Oh my god, just wow. I yeah. Okay, talk about not expecting uh, a, a turnout like like what happened. I mean 11 11 points uh going into sudden death. Uh it, it was uh Okay, you know what? No. I'm <laughs> I'm a little stressed out. Let's cut to some post match interviews with Evan. Go. Well, apparently I'm not Evan DeGraff, and I'm actually Chris Doman still. Uh but here today I have, ah, uh, Case. I'm so sorry, man. You know, uh, everything was going good for you, and then I am legend. <sighs> I am legend screwed me over. But uh, should have picked the other movie. It was my own choice, and after a round, I fucked up there. Because I was in the lead after the first round, especially after the second round. He got lucky with Pearl Harbor and scanned his floor. And round three. So now, being an assassin as you are, you know, um, post tournament, unfortunately, you won't, you won't have a match again until after awards. But I do have to wonder, though, is there anyone you're going to set your sights on? No. No, no. Okay. And obviously, dude, you got nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, shit, you scored 11 points in, you know, you scored 10 points in your first two rounds. That's still nothing to sneeze at. So, I know. you know, and I, and I, I get it. I mean, you feel a little bummed. It's kind of how I felt uh, after uh, I got screwed by a couple questions in my match with Jono. But, you know, it's all good. It's all no, good. but the difference is you didn't know your questions. I got literally screwed with my question. That whatever. Oof. The salty, the salty one is back. Ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not necessarily salty. It's your question writing. Ah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You know, there, there's, the, you know, look, there's a reason. I, there's a reason I'm the question writer of this league, and then I test it with everyone, because usually then we uh, filter out the flaws, and you didn't test these questions, and that screwed me over. Who said yeah. I didn't test them? 
but well, you know, maybe we're, we're, but you know we're uh, we're not here to discuss semantics about uh, question writing because you know film is subjective, so is question writing. And to be fair, if I really wanted to screw you over, I would have made sure you got horror. So <laughs> you know, but you, you, again though, you still put up one hell of a fight. And then you know what? If you have to go to the Continental for a little while, maybe uh, meet up with another assassin, go on a killing job or something, you, you do what you got. All right, and I'll take it back over. We'll be right back with our winner, Maverick Zach Mitchell. And apparently I'm still not Evan Agraf, and that's okay. Uh, so I'm here today with our winner, Zach Mitchell. Uh, another upset in this tournament. Holy crap. It's just... I got to say, dude, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, man. That was an, an intense match, and... Uh... Yeah, I thought I was done there. What was it, like 10-4 at one point? Yeah. That, I, that was quite a comeback. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's something I hope that, uh, you know, people don't give you too much crap for because that was one hell of a comeback. You know. I mean, Case missing the IMDb round is definitely kind of luck. got me back in the game. I never thought he would miss that one. Because he only needed the three to win, and uh, you know I lucked out there. And yeah, it's move. feeling good. But all that being said, of, of course, in two matches in a row, you got the five on your IMDb. Is there, you know, is there something that I'll have to keep in mind that maybe trip you up for your next match or what? <laughs> I don't know. I think the, that round is just my strength because I uh, know movie release dates, so just getting the year and the genres really helps me narrow it down a lot. And then there's always you know, the one key word that gets me, but we'll see. Next time I might have to go to the next set of clues, but I haven't had to do that yet, so. All right, well, you know, again, Zach, congratulations on the win. Best of luck in your next match as we come back over to easily the most handsome member of Take 3 Productions, Chris Doman. And we're back. Okay, Kearns, final thoughts before we wrap this up. Uh, that was an insane match. Um, I was really happy to be a part of this. It's great. You know, this is what I love about this tournament is we really have the best of the best going at it. I love that it came right down to sudden death. I think for people watching, this is what they love to see. So, really good match, both of you guys. Yeah, I mean, and as uh, as I'm sure we you know we all we all, we all say. Uh, no one can leave this match with their head, with their head held down. You, hit, you, know, you keep that head held high because look, Case is now three and two. That's still a very, very good record. Now Zach was on to round two with a, with a two and zero record. He's no slouch, man. He could be another bracket breaker, kind of like Zab. Uh, but as we saw, this is going to go uh, many different ways, and I can't wait to see where. Zach goes from here, but uh, for my co-host, Matthew Superman Kearns, I am Chris Skywalker Doman. We'll see you with the next match. Take care!